All right. This is a very cool thing. Breakthrough medical news. A miracle that could save the lives of more than 100,000 people. So many are waiting for organ donations. There are not enough of us who are going to donate to make up the shortfall. 33 days ago, a kidney from an animal was transplanted into a human patient in New York City. It's still functioning today. That's a record. It's the longest an animal organ has functioned in a human body. We have the doctor that led the team that performed this record-breaking procedure, Dr. Robert Montgomery, the director of the Transplant Institute at NYU Langone Health. Doc, congratulations, and thank you for joining us. Thanks, Chris. It's great to be here. Now, remember who you're talking to, so we got to keep it simple. Why a pig and not like a chimpanzee or a gorilla? Well, you know, we tried using um, hearts and, and other organs from primates um, in the 1970s, 1980s, and it, it really didn't go over very well with the public. Um, you know, these are animals that are scarce, that are endangered, and also they're close enough to us in, on the evolutionary scale that they're more likely to transmit a disease to humans. So we ended up in deciding that the pig was actually the best um, animal to serve as a, a, a source of donor organs. Um, you Why? Know, Why a pig and not a dog? Is it just because you've got a lot of pigs? Are there a lot of animals that are just as similar to us as pigs? Well, pigs are, are pretty easy to genetically manipulate. They have large litters. They breed about three times a year. And their organs are about the same size as human organs. So for all of those reasons, um, we settled on the pig. Hmm. Now, what do you think made the difference and why this time it's lasting? And we should tell people, uh, the, because this is still a, a, using an animal organ in a human being, that's not allowed uh, in someone who's alive. So the person that you did it on is suffering from brain cancer and is brain dead. And the family uh, gave the authorization for this. Do I have it all right? A 57 year old you, male. You have it right. So he, he was unable to donate his organs, even though he had indicated that he wanted to do that. And so instead, um, he donated his body for the purpose of testing these genetically edited um, organs to see how well they would function in a human. Why is it working better this time? What do you think you got right? Well, so, so when we did this previously, we only had authorization to do it for three days. So this time we approached the family. Um, we got, you know, our um, institutional review board to permit us to do this, to study um, the organ for a month. So um, the family agreed, and, and now actually they've decided to extend it for an additional month. And what's next in terms of what you need to understand to get closer to being able to help people? And as I said at the top, uh, and you know this, obviously, there's so many people waiting for organs. There aren't enough of them, like two out of three of them, depending on what organ they're waiting for, are going to expire before they get one. There are not enough of us to make up the shortfall. What's the next step? Well, first of all, we need to, you know, get all the data back from um, the really intensive studies that we've done um, on the decedent um, during this period of time, looking at how the human immune system responds to a organ from a, another species. Um, and we've also accumulated a lot of information about what appears that the pig kidney is able to um, take up all of the tasks that a human kidney is able to do. So we really need to, you know, get that out, get it published, have it peer reviewed. Um, and then I think that plus the information that we already have from doing xenotransplants in primates, so using pig organs in um, a baboon that has been going on for 30 years, that sort of testing, we should have enough information for the FDA.
Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.